What is going on Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global here back with another video. Hope you guys enjoyed the 2021 NFL Draft. Before we hop into this one, quickly just want to give a huge shout out to each and every single one of you who were a part of our draft process over the last couple months and especially those of you who tuned in to our two-day live stream where we covered rounds one to three. Now, like always, I'm going to be making individual videos for each and every single one of the Patriot selections like I do every single year, and I'll be putting them into a playlist so it will be easier for you guys to find them if you want to relocate them. But to start off day three of the NFL draft, in the fourth round pick 120 overall, the New England Patriots have selected running back Ramondre Stevenson. It's also worth noting that he's also from Oklahoma, and it's really interesting to see kind of Belichick's thought process so far throughout our first, what, four picks in the draft? Belichick won Alabama with Mac Jones. He went Alabama again with uh, Christian Barmore. Went Oklahoma our last pick with um, Perkins, and is now going um, is now going Oklahoma again here with Ramondre Stevenson. So these guys are definitely going to come in with some familiarity with each other. And this is definitely an interesting pick by the Patriots. Now, some people will like that they took a running back high. Some people won't. This is the sweet spot I told you to watch for the Patriots to take a running back. And it's exactly what they did. I do think it's very interesting that they did decide to go with Stevenson, though, rather than some of the other guys that, you know, we've been very much talking about heading to the Patriots, the guys that the Patriots met with, guys that reportedly the Patriots liked, and guys like Patterson and Dimitri Felton. All in all, though, this is an excellent, excellent selection by the Patriots, and it's going to help them out tremendously in the running game. I'll definitely say this, though. This is not your James White replacement, not at all. You know, he he isn't going to be your elite pass catcher out of uh, the backfield, someone who can go out wide left or wide right. So if you're looking for that replacement, Patriots have not at least gotten that as of yet. Now, he has put up elite numbers over his last two seasons here with Oklahoma didn't play it all in 2018 though, so some people are probably going to be a little bit concerned with the amount of games he's played. I'm personally not all that worried. I mean, he still played about a total of what, 18 games, and so you can still see what he has as a running back. You know, it's not like he's a quarterback or anything, but in 2020, he put up an overall PFF grade of 90.4, played six games, had 101 rush attempts, for 665 yards, averaging 6.6 .6 yards per attempt, seven touchdowns. He was targeted 23 times, 18 receptions, 211 yards. 2019 had a PF PFF grade of 86.6, 12 games, 64 rush attempts, 515 yards, averaging eight yards per per uh, per attempt, which insane, insane. 8 yards per attempt in 2019, 6.6 .6 in 2020. He was also able to put up a total of 8 touchdowns, or not 8 touchdowns, 6 touchdowns, and then was targeted 10 times with 10 receptions for 87 yards. PFF had a 5th round grade on him. The Patriots took him in the 4th. So this isn't, I don't think, one of those steals for the Patriots, but I do still think that it is an absolute excellent selection and good value. PFF also says that Stevenson has unteachable movement skills for a bigger back, but his tendency to run below his weight class is worrisome. They have his biggest strength being his cutting ability for a guy his size, but his biggest weakness is his hesitant running style. That's not something that really concerns me, though. I think the Patriots could easily, uh, you know, teach that, so... I don't really think that biggest weakness is anything to be concerned about. NFL comparison is being Michael Bush. For a comparison that a lot of Patriots fans will know, for those who don't know Michael Bush, I see a bit of LeGarrette Blunt in <clears throat> excuse me uh, in um, Stevenson's game. Now, he's not going to be anything super fast. He's not going to come in and be the fastest running back on the Patriots' depth chart at all, but he runs hard. He's hard to tackle. A, like I said, a very, very, very big guy at six foot, 246 pounds. He's going to bulldozer over guys, but he can stop on a dime. 
that is dangerous to have. You know, he's not just a guy who uses his body and his size to bulldozer over guys, and that's his running style while he can do it. But no, he plays more for a guy his size of like a James White, Deion Lewis. He plays that shifty, cut on a dime roll. And again, for a guy his size, that that is super dangerous to have. Now, some of the pros that PFF has for him is that he is a tank of a running back, super thick build, his cutting ability that you don't often see from a man that size. He's someone that you have to tackle properly. You have to wrap him up the proper way or you are not going to get him down. PFF says that uh, you have to take or you have to get him cleanly in order to bring him down and it takes more of an outstretched arm to bring him down. Now, I think the only thing that could potentially separate uh, a blunt type of guy from a Stevenson is that while Blunt was a big running back, he was somebody that was able to also carry a load. He was able to carry guys on his back and just push and get extra yards despite having three guys trying to tackle him. We'll have to see if Stevenson is able to do that. But if we do get that, that is an aspect that the Patriots just do not have currently, I would say, on on their depth chart at running back. PFF also says that he loves to hit the defenders with a big fella spin move they really 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 are noting that he is not just a pure power guy and that is exactly what you would expect again from a man that size you would expect for him to be a pound the rock pound the ball just trucking over guys but that's not his game believe it or not I mean I've seen some reports refer to him as a ballerina which is insane again for a man that size But now, of course, where greatness comes also comes for some concern. So some cons here for him. PFF says that he has the mentality of a smaller back. He tries to be a tackle breaker instead of a pile diver. They said that his little high cut and he's not a shoulder lower. Again, not really a con for me. I think that's teachable. I think that if he can learn to just put that shoulder down and drive through defenders, that uh, his game's going to to just bounce up even more. They also said that we barely got to see him 165 career 165 career carries and also three fumbles on those. They also said that he's likely only a swing and screens type of receiver at the position. Like I said, not your James White. He has some of that ability as a pass catcher, but it's really going to be. Um, kind of only what like a Sony Michelle is able to do, only what like a LeGarrette Blunt was able to do. Overall, his ability to cut on a dime, his suddenness, his ability to shred arm tackles and spin away from an unblocked man, somebody that size, I mean, it has the potential to be something very, very dangerous, especially if the Patriots can keep good blockers, not just on the O-line, but also at the receiver position. Overall, I really, really do like this move for the Patriots. Obviously, this wasn't a guy that I essentially had on my list, but it is a very, very good selection by the Patriots, and he's a top 10 running back from this draft class. Before we end this video off, though, I do want to talk about the sponsors of this video, Bet Online. Now, Bet Online has the fastest and easiest ways to bet on all of your sports action. Football might be over, but NBA, college basketball, and the NHL are a full swing. Bet Online even covers awards, TV show, and reality TV, along with real time updated odds and props on almost anything you can imagine. Bet Online also has you covered for all the news, scores, and odds, and it's the best way to place your bets, and it's completely free to sign up. All you guys got to do is head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive a 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. That is Bet Online, your online sports, but excerpt experts don't sit on the sidelines anymore y'all get in with the action don't forget to use that promo code clns50 to receive a 50 percent off welcome bonus on your first deposit but the new england patriots do add depth at running back makes nothing nothing but sense this is again an area in which i told you guys to watch for a running back i truly and fully believed belichick was going to target a guy in one of these early to mid rounds and that's exactly what he did If you guys would like to see more on the draft prospects, other guys that the Patriots were drafting, make sure to check out my channel. I'm covering each and every single one of these guys. After we do that, we're going to get a little bit more into what these guys bring. And of course, I'm going to be giving you guys my grades on the Patriots draft. Like always, though, I appreciate each and every single one of you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.